Why are you not raising this baby? I didn't get the chance to. Didn't you say you didn't want to? Never said that. So you do want to? Yeah, she gave custody to Jill. I fought for custody and I lost. You fought or, or your I, father fought? We both did. So you want this baby? I want this baby. You, you want to raise this baby? I want to raise that baby. Yeah. I'll and where, where do you live? Do you I live with, on your own or with your I parents? I live with my dad and my stepmother. So you live at home? Yes. You're still in school? Yes. Uh -huh. So if you raise the baby, then that means your parents raise the baby. Because um, you got to go to school. Well, while I'm at school, yeah, but when I get home, it's up to me, I guess. Uh -huh. Do you have a job? Nope. I've looked a lot and still haven't found a job. So you don't have money for formula, diapers, medicine, doctor visits, parents. clothes, food? My parents help my sister. They can help me. You guys had unprotected sex, right? Yeah. Why? Um, I was 15 at the time. Um, well, we started using condoms at first. And I guess this kind of sounds stupid, but one day we just ran out. <laughs> we just ran out, right. You had a whole pack in your top drawer. And they were all gone. Not because of us. Uh, so you have 5,000 friends on Facebook? Not even. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I deleted some people, but almost there. So 5,000 friends, so you're pretty famous. No, I'm not famous, but... And you said you have a lot of people waiting, standing by, in line to... to get, how many did you say? Like, like 600. 600? Friend request. How, how do so many people know you? I don't know. To be honest, me and my brother, well, Facebook, obviously, but I don't know, me and my brother and my friend got really popular last summer. Well, if you've got 600 people waiting to be friends, I don't know 600 people. <laughs> Seriously, I don't, I don't know, know 600 000. people. What? I don't know 5,000. Yeah. And how do you two get along? On um, and off. She, I can get along with her, but sometimes she just says something and just... Gets to and, me. and it doesn't have to be anything. It like just anything gets to me. Just, that makes any sense. Like it'll just be like something little or anything. Like we can go like a half an hour being fine, but then something that has nothing to do with him, nothing to do with either of us, I'll say, and he'll just snap, freak out on me, just start being mean. Like we will be in such a public place, and he'll cause a scene in front of everybody. Cause a scene? I tell you, get away from me. That's not causing a scene. Oh, and is it not causing a scene when we're hanging out with a group of people? Raise your hand if you've had sex with Kayla. <clears throat> like well, what? Well, For no reason. We were doing fine. Some guy says, oh, you had sex with Kayla, you had sex with Kayla, I had sex with Kayla. So you have to, like, act on it and be mean, too, just because someone else is doing it? Like, what are you doing, following the crowd? Not following the crowd, just kind of trying being to mean. embarrass you. Yeah. Well, he says that you had sex with a new boyfriend when you were seven months pregnant. Yes. And that that's what caused you to deliver the baby prematurely. Ready to get real? Subscribe to the Dr. Phil Show YouTube channel for exclusive videos you won't see anywhere else.